Now, one thing that never seems to change in our industry when it comes to security in our environments is dealing with updates and moving things into the cloud, such as having, having Azure virtual machines and all of that fun stuff. Well, it's not going to change. We still have to deal with updates. Our different operating systems that come out, whether they're the Windows client operating systems or the Windows server operating systems, or if you're thinking in terms of even non-Windows uh, operating systems that are hosted, then you still got to consider updates. And so I want to talk about um, how we go about doing that. And Microsoft is a is a moving into this new system, a newer system that is called the Azure Update Manager. And I want to take a look at that with you and talk about how we can use the Azure Update Manager for sort of uh, policing our updates that are out there and managing our, managing our updates uh, that we're that we're utilizing in our environment. So um, to start with, the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to create a quick virtual machine. We're just going to create this virtual machine. We're going to use it for this little demonstration, and then we're going to delete it when we're done. So it won't really use up uh, a lot of Azure credit or any of that. So here we are on portal.azure.com. We'll click the menu button and go to all services. Just search for virtual machines. Or if you see it on the screen like I do here, you can click on it. And then I'm going to click to create a Azure virtual machine. Now, the point of this video is not to get into the intricacies of building virtual machines. So please understand that. I'm not going to be explaining every little a checkbox and every little drop down because that's not the point of this. We just need to create a virtual machine very quickly so that we can um, see how we could use the update services in regards to this. Okay, so as far as creating a resource group, I'm just going to create a resource group. I'm just going to call this Azure Update RG for resource group. That'll be a nice little name for it. And then the virtual machine name, I'm just going to call this um, Update VM demo. That's going to be the name of my VM. And I'm just going to use East US. My availability is going to be set to no infrastructure for redundancy. I'm going to go with Windows Server 2022. That's fine. Um, you may have different options there. Just go with the Windows Server. It'll be fine. All right. Um, I'm going to leave the default size here. And then I'm going to go down here and set my uh, username and password. So I'm just going to say ELP admin for ex uh, exam lab practice. And then uh, I'm going to set a password that I'm going to use for this. All right. And type that again. All right. And then uh, I'll leave RDP on. That's fine. Uh, I'm just going to click next for disk. I'm just going to go with standard uh, HDD networking. Leave that alone. I'm going to go over to management and just in case if you were to forget to delete this for some reason, I'm going to do an auto shutdown in my case at um, Eastern time. That way, if you did want to leave this virtual machine around to play around with it some more, you could, but um, I've been, I am going to delete it. But I'm going to do an auto shutdown just for safety. All right. So from there. Um, if we wanted to enable uh, Azure Backup, we could actually set up Backup here. Not really diving into that right here, but uh, from there, I am going to go and um, continue on. But I did want to point out, since we are talking about updates, you will see that there is an option right here that mentions Guest Operating System Updates, Enable Hot Patch, that's not available in this image, but it does tell you patch organization automatically by the operating system. So it is going to use the um, Windows Update automatics, uh, automatic updates to handle that. You can do Azure orchestrated or you can do manual updates. Well, we're going to end up controlling all that, but I did want to show you that this is one area where updates is uh, managed. So now I'm going to go here to monitoring. Um, I dis I'm going to disable the boot diagnostics and then I'm going to click review and create. And then once that's done verifying everything is good, I'm going to go ahead and click create. Now, while this is getting created, I want to, I want to point something out to you. If you go to Google or Bing and you do a quick search on about Azure Update Manager, you will see this article that you can click on in Google or Bing. And it talks about the Azure Automation Update Management this Azure Update Manager. This is the newer system that Microsoft has released. And the main thing that it's going to do is provide a way for us to manage our uh, latest features and updates that are going out to our uh, devices. So you'll see it provides native experience with zero onboarding, 
whereas before the older system required you to install agents and onboarding and all that madness in order to get this to work. Another thing is it can use Azure policies now for managing updates. So you'll see that when you get in there and start playing around with it, that it uses this Azure policy model, which is a better system than before. It doesn't depend on log analytics. It doesn't depend on uh, having an, an Azure automation account. All right. It natively supports the Azure Compute, which is like the VMs, as well as Azure Arc for servers, which is uh, Azure Arc is what bridges between on-premise and the cloud. Okay, so it works with roles and identities, so you can manage uh, roles and identities. You can manage who can do this with roles and identities. That's RBAC, role-based access control, which is good. You can control uh, whether things need to be deployed automatically or if you want to do it uh, on your own. All right, so very good. And this little drawing right here, if we open that up real big, you can see what's going on. All right, so what's great about this is I've got Linux machines, I've got Windows machine, I got on-premise network. We could have like a VPN or Express Route connection into Azure. Um, from there, update management. They tell you update management center your virtual machine extensions makes API calls from Windows update agent or Linux package manager check for updates or deploy updates. So it does an assessment um, and it tells you the assessment and deployment compliance data available in Azure resource graph. So basically that just means it's pulling in analytic data. Um, and then update management center for your virtual machine extensions are already there within Azure VMs. In other words, you can you can essentially control updates in a central place using this Azure Update Manager. That's essentially what they're. I don't know that that's super clear on that drawing for people, but that's where that drawing is trying to take you. Okay, so. It does have support management for Azure VM or a non-Azure VM. Update Manager relies on the Azure extension, which is designed to um, provide the, all the full functionality required to interact with the operating systems and all that good stuff. Um, so the Update Manager extension is installed and managed by the Azure VM Windows agent or the Azure Linux agent for Azure VMs. And then for Arc, enabled a uh, server agent for non Azure Linux and Windows machines physically on your on-premise environment. Okay. So now hopefully we've had enough time for our little VM to get installed. If we jump back over if we go to um let's see if it's done. Yeah. So it's done. Now I'm going to go over here to all services. So click the menu button and go to all services. I've got my VM installed. I'm going to do a search for the word update. And you'll see I have a resource here that I can click on called Azure Update Manager. So we'll go there. And it should detect that we have one machine in our Azure environment. Keep in mind, if you've been doing a lot of playing around or depending upon uh, what you're doing, you may have more than, more than one virtual machine. In my case right now, I just have that one. And I can actually click on it and see I've got this one uh, virtual machine that's available right here that I can, I can go to and look at. Okay, but I don't actually want to open that virtual machine right now. So what I want to do here is I can click on updates and I can see that I've not deployed any updates out at all. Um, I have history. You can see if there's a, you know, what the history is of me deploying updates. And let's go back over here. If we, we can also go to overview and we can just do a one-time update deployment if we want. Keep in mind that it hasn't actually pulled in any uh, data yet from our virtual machine but if I was to go here and click install I can say install one-time updates I can add the virtual machine right here click add all right and if I wanted to go through this process of uh, you know trying to deploy out some updates I could but the, the downside is you really got to wait on it to get update information and all that which I'm not I'm not getting I'm not going to do right now but really what I want to show you is uh, what if I've got a lot of machines I need to deploy updates out to a lot of machines so you can do that through Azure policy now you can go and go to the menu button and go you know you can go into policies through Azure directly or the good news is you can just click getting start or get started right here and then um, you can click to assign a policy all right so that brings me into Azure Policies, and it'll show me, it'll filter, if you didn't know this already, there are literally hundreds and hundreds of policies in Azure. 
and uh, what this will do is just filter the ones related to um, updates so you can see I've got these different policies that are available for uh, deploying updates so I can just click I'll click this one right here it says configure periodic checking for missing system updates on Azure virtual machines we'll click that all right and then um, it brings up the policy definition which if again if you're not familiar with policy definitions that's written in JSON JavaScript object notation which can completely be manipulated by us if we want but we are not diving into that in this video we'll go right here and click assign and then the scope is going to be what are we deploying this to so maybe I'm going to deploy this to uh, my subscription to this resource group right here Azure update RG keep in mind depending upon what you're doing you may have different resource groups than me the only resource group that I care about in this video is Azure update RG so I'm going to select that I could have exclusions alright but uh, I can also and, and we're not diving into all this in this video but there's some advanced capabilities you can do with policies the point of this video is not really to to get into Azure policies it's to simply deploy this policy so we click review and create we click create this is going to deploy this policy to all the devices that are inside that resource group granted there's only one uh, policy that's inside that resource group at the moment okay um, but ultimately if I go back over here to Azure update manager that is going to now enable the deployment of the periodic updates checking and all that and it'll go out to the machine after a certain amount of time all right and so that is um, how that is going to work for me okay all right and uh, so the next step is going to be to uh, clear out my resource group I no longer need that I just wanted to show you the idea of the Azure update manager so I'll now scroll down I'll click on this uh, virtual machine that I have and then I'm gonna click on the resource group I'll go to overview click on the resource group Azure update RG and I'm just gonna go right here delete the resource group copy it apply force delete and that is going to delete the resource group as well as the virtual machine so it will no longer take up any Azure credit so as you can see it says deleted the resource group and um, so at that point it should be gone I should be able to refresh here and probably get an error message yeah so no resources uh, match and the resource group will disappear as well and uh, that's gonna do it hopefully that gives you a better understanding now of the concept of Azure update management in regards to uh, deploying this out with Azure policies Hey, this is John Christopher. I hope you enjoyed that video, and I want you to know that I'm trying really hard to grow this channel, so I hope you'll give me a like and a subscribe. Also, if you'll check the description in this video, I've got a link for you that can show you how you can get access to all my different courses. I have lots of different Microsoft certification courses that'll help you pass your exam. All right, thanks a lot for watching the video, and I hope to see you again.